I, well, I guess when I went through the process and um, worked with my coach there, and I came from corporate America, um, corporate executive for several years. So part of the process of while I was making the decision to join TES, there were three very important things for me. One, um, the culture of uh, the organization. Also, for me, uh, for several years I wanted to do something on my own, but really didn't have the, I guess, the, the ideas or the, the guts, really, to make that decision. And I really wanted an organization that had a, a really good, solid procedure and process and, and um, support for their coaches in the field. And, and I felt that TES had that. Um, the third thing was really the type of coaches that were TES coaches, whether they've been TES coaches for several years or were new to the organization. And for me, it was important their attitude and their um, experience level, their success, and really the, the culture of the coaches as well. And the, all of that combined really helped me make the decision to join TES. As it turned out, yesterday was my 15-year anniversary with FSBI. Uh, I started as a regional developer and a coach, and it, it's interesting to me how the premise of what we started with 15 years ago in this franchise company still remains the same. Helping people genuinely understand what they want their life to look like, identifying their transferable skills, looking at their income, lifestyle, wealth, and equity goals, and then being able to help them discover opportunities that they wouldn't have looked at on their own. I coached clients for many years uh, myself along with developing a region of coaches in uh, Pennsylvania and Southern New Jersey. And it never really changed. I mean, our system uh, has been evolving, but the value that we provide to those people in that discovery process, that safe space, that, that uh, mentoring around the ability to learn so many things to really find the answers for themselves and then empowering themselves to be able to go forward into a business or franchise that was just the right fit for them and all the wonderful success stories and to get paid for that is about as good as it gets when you know you're doing good things for people and you know you're presenting valid uh, real opportunities for them to change their lives get what they want for themselves it, it just doesn't get any better than that for us and that part really hasn't changed. Well, when I joined the company back uh, about 11 years ago now, I've been a regional developer for 10 years, started out as a coach. We're a small company. We had a handful of franchisors we worked with. We're kind of a new concept where we actually coach people to find the right franchise instead of being a typical broker. And over the years, I've seen this brand grow until now we're 250 strong, um, not only in the United States, but Canada and Europe. Uh, we have franchisors come into us to want to use our service because they value what we do and our process that we take clients through to help understand franchising and match them up with models that's going to fit what we call their ILWI, their lifestyle, income they want to earn, and wealth and equity. So they value what we are, who we are, how we evolved over the years. So it's been an interesting journey. Well, from a personal standpoint, um, I, being in corporate America my entire career and running a, a major company, uh, I didn't have a lifestyle. Um, and so being a TES coach has allowed me to work the hours I want to work, um, taking care of my 89-year-old mother three times a day, um, bring my dogs to my office with me every day. Um, it's allowed me the lifestyle that I want. I love helping people. Um, in corporate America, I did a lot of uh, training, hiring, promoting, and, and really coaching. That's the same thing I do, is I help people who really want to uh, do something on their own. And it's, and it's earned me uh, a living that was more than I I'm, I'm, uh, made as a, as a CEO of a company. So it's given me um, a lifestyle, wealth, and equity, and, uh, and most of it's lifestyle, very frankly.